Welcome in, welcome in. Hope all is well. Uh, yeah. So this is season two, episode six. With the amazing Sabies. Yay! Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? Sabies, hi. How mm -hmm. are you? How you feeling? Hope all I'm is good. Well. I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. How about yourself? I am good. I'm happy. It's Wednesday. Um, mm. It is after 8 o'clock, but we know we just turned the clocks back, so it's really 9 o'clock, and I'm old, so I'll be on in about 5,000 times. It's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. So just you know, just want to let y'all know I'll be yawning because I'm old, okay? Uh, music, I see you with the hydro. Hey. I appreciate you. <laughs> Satan's Midnight Music. I appreciate the name. <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing. That's a big. Is that? That's a big old, big old water bottle. What's that? That's like sixty-four ounces. Shit. I got to drink one of these. I'm trying to get to the point where I drink two of these a day, but my bladder can't hang, yeah, so it's, it's just one. Peeing. That's what they don't tell you. They tell you to drink more water, but they don't let you know. By the way, you'll be peeing nonstop. Non-stop. And then they say once it gets to the point where it's clear, you're overhydrated. And usually by the end of that, by like one and a half of those bottles, I'm clear. So it's yeah. like, I, I, no, I can't do it. It's it's too much. It's too much. I don't know what they be doing. I don't know what they be thinking about all that water. Sometimes yes. I think I'll have good water days and other times I'll have bad water days. Oh, yeah, same. <laughs> I don't have time to pee 80 times a day. Exactly. Because, mm -hmm. baby, who going to be doing all that? Nobody. Especially when I was working retail and I was like, like back and forth, back and forth. When I was trying to drink a gallon a day, it was terrible. Oh my gosh, I could only imagine. The almighty corn, hi, welcome in. So, CBs, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, uh, hi. You came about mm -hmm. the name, like let us know who you are, your history and things of that sort. Okay. So hi, I am Seavies. Uh, my pronouns are she and they. Uh, I got the name Seavies. Uh, I used to be an art streamer because uh, actually content creation wise, I've been doing content creation for a long, long time. I started out as a crafting uh, a crafting blogger on Cutout and Keep and Blogspot. Then I became an art streamer. And when I was an art streamer, I was really a big fan of this person. I don't know how to pronounce their username to this day. It's like WLOP. And it's like, I don't know if it's Woolop or is it Lop, the W silent. And I was like, I want something similar. So I got the name. I wanted a name that said sounded like Sea Bees. So I went Sea Bees. And then I realized it sounds more like Sea Buzzing Bees. But we're stuck now. <laughs> Everybody knows it. it. It is what it is. I always like your name. And like in my head, no matter what, I always hear like EMP saying your name. Like, see, mm -hmm. like it's a high pitch. So, like, in my, I like, I say the same way because that's, like, I can't not say it that way because. Right. And it's such and a simple been... name, but it's an awesome mm -hmm. name. It's so, like, just cool. Yeah. I just messed myself up by making a name that's so hard to pronounce because people see it and they're like, is it, like, Cup of Noodle always gets my name wrong. It's Seabus, but it's so funny. I can't correct her. I love hearing Seabus. I'm like, that's such a gross name, but it's so funny. <laughs> I, I'm never going to correct her. The day she gets my name right, I'm going to be so sad. Yeah, but like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Go back to how you originally said it. That was the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Silky, I see you. appreciate you for being here. Queen be a creatine? Creatine like the supplement? Because I do have aspirations to be extremely buff so that that could be a thing i am, i have the same aspiration i just want to be a big buff thick girl and, and yeah like, like, have you seen rocky giovanni i feel like i've heard that name oh my god she is a weightlifter and she is like uh the queen bee of creating oh you know, i'm so mad my mind went creatine <laughs> before creating <laughs> I mean, once you said that, that's all I <laughs> saw too. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be cool. Like, could you imagine, like, just being, like, mad buff and, like, picking people up? I and would. Them? 
I would not be humble about it at all. I would literally find a reason to lift weights on stream. I would not be humble if I was buff, you know? You'd be like, hold on one so minute, and you go, like, get ready for a set, and, like, do some deadlifts. Like, okay, now we can get back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, Lettuce. You. It's my brain. <laughs> like, literally, I would just have channel redeems. It's like, hey, bench press this real quick. It's like, I mean, if I must. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. If I have to, let me go do that real quick. <laughs> like, it's a mess. Like, even now, it's like, if I see, like, a lady in the store that's lifting something heavy, I'll lift something for her just so she'll go, oh, my God, you're so strong. And I'm like, <laughs> right? you know. Right? <laughs> and, you know, I was helping my parents clear out their basement. And mm. uh, I was just like, like, I'll do, like, come on. So I was just, like, just grabbing stuff, pulling it out the basement, throwing it out. You know, take it out to the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. And later on, my dad said to my mom, he was just like, she's so strong. She was just picking up so much stuff. I'm like, really? Or it feels good to hear. It's just really nice to hear. <laughs> Hi, Crispy. Welcome in. It does feel good. It does. Mm -hmm. So you said you were a craft streamer. Like, So what like got you into like streaming? Like what? Walk us through that journey. Uh, when it came to streaming, originally it was the art stuff because around I had been drawing for a long time. I couldn't find a job in college, so I like sur like subsisted entirely off commissions. Mm -hmm. And um, there came a point in time where like art theft was really rampant in the community, so people were basically like, "Prove your art." And I started streaming then, but I hated it because it made me really, really anxious. I have really bad social anxiety. Like talking and like social situations were really bad. So I only did that for a little while. Then I was like, you know what? I want to work on, you know, this thing. And the best way to work with stuff is like you have to put yourself in like the situations that are just a little uncomfortable. And for me, streaming is just a just was a little uncomfortable. Mm. You know, if I get too uncomfortable, I can always turn it off. It's gone. And I started doing it. And I hated it because it was so scary. It was like people would come in and talk to me about the game, about stuff in general. I used to do it like once every like three months. It was terrifying. And I just kept doing it till I eventually like built up, I'd say a semi-tolerance to it. It's still scary every time I do it, but it's nowhere near as scary as it was in the beginning. No, I could like imagine. And then you're going to make mm -hmm. me something too now? I can make you, oh gosh, I can make you that bunny, what is it called, a balaclava? I made a bunny balaclava just to bully EMP. Um, oh, I, I wish. That. Yes, I made that just to bully EMP to match his ski mask. And it is one of my favorite things I've made because it made him so angry that he just, he didn't even want to look at it. I sent him a picture as soon as I finished it and he didn't want to even look at it. <laughs> No, it was no poor EMP at all. Jazz, Debbie, I see you. Oh, there he come. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you're always creating all these, like, awesome, like, graphic design, graphic art, mm. memes, and all that. Um, so, like, what, like, get, what really got you into, like, doing that? What, uh, what when inspires I... you when you make them? I do them now just for the fun of it. Like creating things in general is something like I've always liked doing. I've always liked creating things just out of nowhere. Like I, we have a really creative family. My grandmother was a seamstress. Uh, my mother crocheted. My sister, she does a lot of like, she does like these decorative gifts. Like she made somebody, like, you know, the Animal Crossing presents with the balloon. Yeah. She made like one of those and stuff. She likes to do like these. She made somebody a pot of greed that you had to break open and get money. My, she does stuff like that. And I've just always liked creating. And I've always tried to find new avenues of ways to create things and get my point across and, like, you know, just make things that I can imagine. That's always been fun. Yeah, no. I always appreciate it. I always love seeing them. They always make me laugh when it comes to mm. my timeliner. I'm like, oh, <laughs> retweet. <laughs> like, yeah, retweet. they're so fun. <laughs> they're so like, let me fun join to me. Are we, who are we making fun of? Let me join in on this. <laughs> However, I would like to humbly point out that I do not have a CB crafted uh, meme or anything like that. I just wanted to say that. Oh, yeah. We got to put you in one. Just one. You going to hate it because I guarantee you it's going to be it's gonna be horrifying. <laughs> if people be like, I want one. Then they see it. They'll be like, why, you why would you do like some that? sick stuff like that? <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> I, think, I think like the most 
flattering one I did was I put one of my friends on top of Drake and <laughs> it looked really good. It looked really good. You wouldn't even be able to tell that it was Drake before. And he was furious. He's like, why would you do that? And he posted it on his IG and people didn't read the caption and just thought that he had like gotten braids somehow because he's bald, mind you. And the picture had braids. He's like, how did you do that? And I was like, Drake braided one too. <laughs> Oh. He was furious and I love it. See. I I look forward to whatever you create. I it's going to be great. The, the madness that is waiting to ensue. God forbid it's a game character, then it's going to be stressful. <laughs> I love putting people on game characters cuz it's like it's weirdly like uncanny valley where it's like this don't fit but you put it here anyway and i'm uncomfortable like, and somehow it all comes together mm -hmm. so i think you recently had some announcements some uh additions and uh team announcements and things of that sort and i know you said you had more announcements today however i was mm -hmm. working so i couldn't i was like well, dang it. I was like, well, I'm going to ask you about it tonight. It was this. It was this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. I, was like, I like to like have my notes prepared. And like, I was like, oh, I can't see it. I got these meetings at work. How dare they work me? <laughs> no, it was definitely give me a paycheck. <laughs> oh, a mood. A mood. <laughs> yeah, I was so happy I got into Scream Reapers because I remember, like, imposter syndrome is so weird because everybody who knows me knows me as playing horror games. But when the applications opened up the time before I got in, I remember I was like mid filling out the paperwork and my brain went, but are you really a horror streamer for real? Like you don't play enough horror and you don't watch horror movies. And are you really a horror fan? And my brain really convinced me to just close the application. And I was like, why did you do that? And then this year I said, it doesn't matter if I get in or not, I'm going to do it. And then when I got through, everybody was like, I thought you were already in the group because you're <laughs> always in our streams and doing the stuff. I was like, I wasn't. <laughs> like, I, no, but I am now. That was mm. awesome. When I saw that, I was like, ah, retweet, retweet. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited because I was like, ah, because I admire so many people in the group too. And it's like, it's the chance to collab with them and stuff. And again, it's outside of my comfort zone. Like, I still haven't like... Uh, reached out to them like they've been posting like hey who wants to collab on this game at a party who wants to go me but it's like I'm still so nervous to do it but it's like at least now I have the opportunity and I can build up that like courage to go I'll play this game with you yes please. I'm terrified I know that like um, Saint just said imposter syndrome it gets to you and I always mm -hmm. tell my friends like just go ahead and apply because if they say no they say no and long as it's free to apply then apply because mm hmm and, you know, hopefully they give you feedback as to why you didn't make it this time around. So then you can work on it for next time, you know. But psh, always, always apply. If they say That's no, what I need. if you open an email and you see the email that says, sorry, but just go ahead and delete the email. You ain't got to read no more. And mm -hmm. you don't need that negativity in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's the weirdest one. <laughs> It's like, it's just putting myself out there. That's something I've been trying to do more lately. It's just like putting myself out there. But it's so, um, it's so nerve wracking, especially considering like social situations make me terrified. Like I was even saying today when I was talking about this, I was like, hopefully I remember to breathe. Because when I get nervous, I forget to like breathe. And I, I'll like halfway through, I'm going to go and take a quick inhale. So people don't realize like, oh, you were holding your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to call 911 on my stream, okay? We don't want to do nah. that. No. Don't worry, I'm, I'm inhaling and exhaling properly currently. Okay, good, good. <laughs> inhale, then exhale, not exhale, then inhale, okay? Do it right. Correctly. <laughs> you know, we, all, we don't want no 911 calls. Mm hmm. Just <laughs> flop over in the chair out of nowhere. No, because that's going to be like trauma, like traumatic for me. So, like, turn your camera off. <laughs> right. And then. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we need no, a, like, oh, a breathe right. button in your streams apparently mm -hmm. exactly because i ain't gonna lie sometimes it is because what i started doing now is like i said okay another step because what i do is i turn my viewers off when i'm in stream because in my head it makes me feel more comfortable to just imagine it's just like me and like seven friends in there mm -hmm. 
but I said, okay, we got to start knowing what our averages are, knowing like when the dips and the rises are in stream, you know, so we can plan around that and stuff. So I turned them on and I found out I trend closer to 30 and I'm like, who that? Why is there 30 people in here? Who are you? What, what's going on in here? And it's been making me... So literally, it's been making me so self-conscious lately. It's like, why are y'all watching me just talk about? And I talk about the most unhinged stuff because you know I do that first hour of just chatting and stream, and we'll talk about the f most unhinged but stuff in that, that. hour. It's, fun. <laughs> it's like off the wall stuff, and I love when I come in. I'm like, what are we talking about? Ooh, okay, <laughs> I'm in here. Yeah, it's because we stalk it's your streams. It's unhinged, and we love it. We're like, yes. <laughs> like even today we were talking about like a uh, house in uh in Baldur's Gate and the bear scene and I when people follow when I'm saying something unhinged to it's like please I promise I have decorum just not right now please <laughs> listen so I started playing Baldur's Gate oh, and my, a, a man friend was is playing mm. with me right mm. we play together but then he hasn't mm. had time to play. And I'm starting to get very annoyed because I want to play, but he doesn't want to. Mm. He, he wants me to play with him and wait. But I'm like, bruh. But he also makes poor decisions. Oolong! Mm. Hey! Mm. Shelby, hi. He makes poor decisions. <laughs> he, got, he got, like, put in jail. He got, um, what else did he do? He kept getting into fights and battles. I'm like, we're not ready yet. Take a moment. Stop running around. And you know, like, if y'all watch me ever play the forest, I go crazy. So, like, mm -hmm. like listen to me. I'm like, see, <laughs> you know, I might just have to go ahead and play without you. Move our I party along. And then you can join back when I feel as though we have leveled up enough. Cause I, I say do it. Because, like... I would not play that game multi. Like I've got two hundred hours in that game now. I think about two twenty. I would not play that game multi uh, multiplayer first chance because like you miss so much stuff if your teammate just like either murks somebody or locks y'all out of a quest line. It's ridiculous. See? And it's like, and I know, I know, I, we made one decision. I was like, I bet. I was like, no, we should probably go back and change that. It's like, man, <laughs> Shelby, yeah. And Ulan, I might have to. I don't think he's in the stream right now because I haven't, I didn't text him to be in the stream so we could talk about him before <laughs> he shows up and then we'll stop talking about him. But yeah. I love that. So, yeah. And I love watching other people play and I want to like, so I might have to it's like, so fun. go incognito and play and be like, oh no, this I is the first it. time we're doing this. But go to the right. I, honestly. Time. Certain games, like, if it's a game like that, I would absolutely play that solo first. Because, like, there's so much stuff and, like, so many, there's so many choices you can make. Like, yeah. even when I played, I played with EMP once before I had, like, gotten super far in the game. He's finding NPCs I never saw. He's doing different choices that I did. And even when I was playing on stream the other day, I had made a choice. And there were a couple people said, I have not seen that outcome for that interaction. And I'm wow. like... That's the interaction I do every time. I didn't know y'all didn't have that. See? I need to start a new save file. You do. You should. I do. So and mod it. No, but don't mod it. <laughs> so as a horror streamer, <laughs> mm -hmm. what is your favorite horror game? If you have to do top three, totally understand. Top three as far as like enjoyable, I would definitely put... Ari, Ari 8 was really good for me. I would put that as my number one. Okay. My number two would be Madison just because, like, Madison is the scariest game I've ever played this up to this far mm -hmm. because it was, just, it was just horrifying. I, I didn't sleep behind that game and I kind of like that and I kind of hate it. <laughs> and my three would be Layers of Fear. Because okay. Layers of Fear was my first horror game, and it just holds like a really special place in my heart. Yeah, now that usually that first horror game, it will always kind of stay with you. Um, it is, and the remake they did was amazing too. Like it really held up to the original. Okay, and they have like a new Silent Hill coming out, right? 
something? I'm excited. I've never played a Silent Hill, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. I, o- I actually only started playing horror games when I started streaming. So I've only been playing horror games like three years, and it's like, it's madness. Say now, I don't know about that one. That game, that game ruined me. And Madison was Madison was no joke. Oh my god. Well, let's see. They're making a little nightmares three, which is like a cutesy. I love little nightmares. Cutesy horror. Those are games are so good. Like yeah. I think it's gonna be co op too. So I'm gonna see if I can bully somebody into co oping that with me. But if I can't, I'm literally speed running it first. I mean, that would be a great, great chance to play with one of your screen reaper friends it would and i could see how they handle horror i'm always scared that i'm gonna be the chaotic because i am the chaotic one like i'm not gonna lie about that but i'm always scared like somebody's gonna be more organized me and they're gonna be like see beast what are you doing it's like <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well you just get a disclaimer like listen i'm a very chaotic player i'm gonna be all over the place mm-hmm. there's gonna be some screams there's gonna be some foolishness um mm-hmm. and some cackling so just just be prepared it's like oh yeah i'm gonna be all over this screen i'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best but listen my best is kind of it's kind of chaotic so <laughs> godspeed godspeed <laughs> my best might throw you off just a little bit there a little bit a little bit <laughs> there's um is there any hard games that you would never ever ever play again or play for the first time I will never play Outlast 2. And I played the first Outlast and everybody was like, yeah, you got to play 2. But it's like there's certain themes for me. SA and CSA are big, like hard passes for me in games. And that is literally the whole theme of Outlast 2. Mm-hmm. Like, and it happens. Same with Fear 2. No, yeah, it's Fear 2. Like, in Fear 2, they're, like the end is just a big SA scene. And I'm just like, Oh. Yeah, no, y'all got that. No. You got that. I'm not... I'm good on those. As far as never again... Mm, I don't think I've ever played one and been like, yeah, don't ever put that in my face again. I was like, I've just finished some and been like, well, that was a journey. I'm glad <laughs> it's over. <laughs> and that's about it. And that's, that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the prison simulator stream? That was not the original at all. <laughs> That prison simulator stream <laughs> when EMP got uh, shanked, that was. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how that happened. I need to go back to that game now. Once my throat, because when I played that, my throat was sore, and I didn't realize I'd have to read that much. And I was like, "Oh!" But that game was so fun, and I liked the way that uh, chat could interact and make stuff happen in the prison. Even though I didn't realize that's what they was doing for like twenty minutes, it was wondering why it took me so long to take attendance. Whole time they just make it fires and fights over and over, but whatever. <laughs> that was so funny. I was like, "What in the? What is this?" And like just, I've seen so many people play, and that never happened. And I'm like, all of a sudden his body was just laid there. I was like, "Wait!" <laughs> <laughs> like you checked there, you patted everybody down, but then you were like, "Okay, you're on knives." I was like, "I don't think they should have knives. I don't think it's gonna be good." <clears throat> and it wasn't. Literally. I hated it. It's like everybody just was, every time I turn around, somebody's on the ground. And EMP, for some reason, just can't be in the workroom without ending up on the floor. What? I don't know how that works. I guess he gets menaced. <laughs> <laughs> he really was getting menaced all game. He just wanted to pee in his cell. That's all he was trying to do. Bless his little heart. Mm-hmm. Well. Well. <laughs> uh. So... What is your first memory of gaming? Go back to little, little scenes. Oh my God. I had a Sega Pico. I'm aging myself a bit. And I remember I had a game on the Pico and you, it was a coloring game. And there would be this man with a vacuum cleaner who would come through and suck all the color out of the page and you'd have to recolor it. And every, like, few levels or so, you had to fight him by throwing, like, uh, balloons filled with paint. That was, like, the earliest, earliest game I remember playing. Then right after that was uh, the Super Nintendo, and it was Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I remember I couldn't get out of the forest because I didn't know how to play. (laughs) And my family was just like, well, if you can't figure out how to play, turn it off. And I just would play that same section where you leave your house 
<laughs> after your uncle passes and try to walk to the castle and just die over and over. Oh. It was it was a moment. <laughs> Did you ever go back and replay it? I should. Yeah. I've been thinking of that because I have a Switch. I just don't have a capture card. And I was like, what if I went back to... Because I've had so many Legend of Zelda games in my life. I've only finished two. But I've played dang near all of them. I just never finished them. And I was like, what if I just went back as an adult and said, how hard are these games really? Or was I just like, no. you know, a kid? <laughs> if you play like the original, <laughs> original ones, they're super mm. hard. They're not intuitive. Oh, yeah. It's not... It, you have to be a kid thinking of, at that time period because, mm -hmm. yeah, but oh, no. they're fun. <laughs> it's nostalgic. I played, I played Oracle of Ages and I'm doing way better than that all, purely off the memory of where I was at when I played as a kid. Like I still remember some puzzles just by heart. And I'm like, wow, if I was playing this for the first time, I would have never figured this puzzle <laughs> out. I, think I don't know how I played games before Google. Because yeah. they did a Link to the Past remake. Um, mm. they, they added to it, so they made it a little bit longer. Um, so you could definitely play it. I mean, I, should. I hope you get out of the woods. <laughs> I just want to get. I just want to get into the castle. I just want to see what happens after the woods. Yeah, and then they had a sequel to it, the Link I... Between Worlds or something. It was like a sequel. I've heard of that one. That was on you start off like on a mountain, right? Yeah, and you can like yeah. become like like a painting on the wall. And then I didn't even get that far. I got to try that. That one was really good, but I think it's only on the 3DS. I don't think they ever moved it over. Because, like, the only ones I finished were Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. Okay. I had both of those on my GameCube, and I used to, like, as weird as it is, like, you know, we have to turn our stuff off after a certain time of night. If I didn't want to, if I wanted a quick thing, I would just turn off my TV, but not the console, and my parents wouldn't check. So then every now and again, I would get up and turn back on the TV, play a little bit, turn it back off. And just I, those two games got finished purely because of that. Their poor electric bill. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, mom. But mm -hmm. We all did that. We all like just turned the TV off and didn't turn the system off. Mm -hmm. but, you know. I'm surprised she never checked, to be honest. Like my mom was always on it. So I'm surprised that slid past her. Maybe she always knew. And let it slide. Maybe. And turn the TV off. Maybe that's that actually makes more sense. Hi. <laughs> so here at Fangirl Review Gamer Corner, um, that's ten years old. Um, mm -hmm. we like to do a little icebreaker. Two truths and a lie. We don't start the interview with it. We start. We just throw it in midway whenever my okay. first desire. So. You tell us two truths and a lie, and me and the chat work together to figure out what is the lie, and hopefully we get it right. Okay. Sometimes I listen to the chat, sometimes I totally ignore them, and I choose <laughs> on my own which one's the lie. So. Alrighty. Uh, I've been attacked by a llama at a petting zoo. Okay. Come in. Um, well, what was the second one? I was vegan and vegetarian in my life longer than I've been eating meat. And I have had a police interaction over a carousel before. A carousel? The one with like the riding horses and stuff? With the horses, the span? Yeah. Okay. That's wild. What y'all think? We got police <laughs> interaction with the over a carousel. We have, you were attacked by a llama at a petting zoo? Mm-hmm. What was the second one? The other one was, uh, what, did I, what was the other one? Oh, I've been vegan and vegetarian longer than I've been eating meat. So I feel like, oh, you know, the llama is definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> well, Satan, what is it? I feel like maybe the llama isn't true. Because mm. I feel like it's very specific about the police 
interaction over a carousel, which maybe you guys were fighting over the same horse. Um, <laughs> sometimes you want a particular horse. Uh, so as soon as like they let you, it's not cheating if you we're all working together to do this. <laughs> yeah, y'all are guessing with her. <laughs> oh, okay. So Lavendula, hi. The last one was I've been vegan and vegetarian longer than I've been eating meat. I've had a police interaction because of a carousel, and I've been attacked by a llama at a petting zoo. Robin! Hey! Hola! <laughs> Not Dula laughing at my stories, <laughs> friend! <laughs> You're still saying llama vegan is true. Hmm. See, I feel like I feel like the llama's not the truth. Hey, that's final answer. Are you gonna let them uh, guess it too? I'm gonna let anybody else gonna weigh in. You gonna go the veg vegan vegetarian one, Dula? I don't know. Maybe I should go with what Dula said. All right, I'm gonna go with Dula. She says it. All right. I'm gonna go. If I'm wrong, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> the veg, vegan, uh, vegan and vegetarian one is the lie. Okay. The the uh, the llama was the lie. It was a chicken. See, I, <laughs> I got beat up by a chicken. <laughs> you were saying? Uh, I got beat up said, by no, a chicken. Don't trust me. I should have stuck with the llama. It, it's all Dula's fault. I'm going to go tweet it out that I would have been right. <laughs> oh. It was it was the chicken. It was a chicken, not a llama. Because I was like, dang, I got a lot of... I was like, I got to come up with a lot. This is wild as something that already happened. <laughs> That's funny. So I knew her life was goofy enough to get attacked <laughs> by an animal. That is funny as hell. Yeah, so we definitely want to like hear the right. story. But I also want to hear the carousel story. <laughs> so, the llama, you can't change the animal. So the chicken was um the chicken one was I was at a petting zoo in grammar school and we were supposed to be feeding these chickens, right? And um Somebody had their hand out like this, and when the chicken would go in, they ball their fist up and go bop and hit him on top of the head. And they kept doing that. And after a while, the chicken just went ah! and threw his arms up, and all the chickens did it like it was some type of war cry. So we backed up in the corner, and I was about to hop the fence, but then I looked over the fence and I saw goats. And I was like, Do I want to fight a goat or a chicken? And I said, The chicken. So I crawled, I climbed right back down the fence, and that chicken beat me up. I was Liz. I'll get beat up by a chicken before I get beat up by a goat. There's a clear teacher? size difference. Watching. The teacher did. I was like, no. "Get us out! Get us out of here! <laughs> Why did you let this happen?" Yeah, because what? It'd be different if you were going by your, you know, going with your family. Or Whole. Whatever. Weirdly enough, Dula, it didn't hurt. It just scared me really bad because it was like trying to like peck and like flap and kick at me it scared me more than hurt me i i was not phased but of course i was a kid so i was crying so yeah. you know because i mean that is kind of the police mm, the police interaction was uh i was a kid again and i was begging my mom to put me on this carousel and my mom was like fine we'll put you on the carousel my mom put me on the carousel and i guess what i didn't realize it was gonna move the way it did so when it did I just started screaming and falling out crying. I'm like, oh. so I'm screaming and falling out. And my mom is chasing the carousel around in a circle, trying to snatch me off the carousel. A cop is coming by and he sees this. And he, my mom finally snatches me off the carousel. And I'm like, ah! I'm flailing. I'm screaming. And the cop thinks that she's trying to kidnap me. Oh my so the cop God. goes over <laughs> And they talking to my mom and they trying to get and my mom's trying to get me to say that I know her, but I'm distraught right now. And my mom was like, look at me, Anna, because Anna is my name. 
She said, Anna, look at me. If you don't tell this cop right now that you know me, they're going to take me away forever. You are never going to see me again. They're going to take me and I'm going to be gone forever. And I went, mama, no. And just hit the floor again and started screaming because now I think my mom's going to leave. And the cop just like stares at us and he leaves. And <laughs> like this. Mama. <laughs> and my mama never let me forget that ever. She tells that story. And she's like, you know, I almost got arrested over her because she want to ride a carousel. Didn't know how carousels worked. I'm like, I was a kid. What? I don't know what you expected. I mean, <laughs> no, you know, it was completely your mother's fault because she should have been on the carousel with you. Mm-hmm. It's so like, why'd you, you put me old, on and leave? Be on there by yourself. You were not old. I was not. <laughs> Lala, I was scared. Powerless. Hi. <laughs> that is, and I could see, uh, baby CBs doing all of that. Just I was out, showing out. She tells, she tells awful stories because I wasn't a bad kid. I was just like. Uh, eccentric kid, like she, like I fell out once in a Walmart because you know I was I read, I learned to read early. My mom made me read all the time. I remember in Walmart I was reading a pamphlet, and it was a pamphlet about testicular cancer, and I thought that those symptoms sounded like something that I had. And I remember I just started crying, and I hit the flow. And my mom was like, in the middle of Walmart, my mom was like, "What is wrong with you?" I was like, "Baba, I got testicular cancer." She said, "You don't even got testicular." Get off off this flow. She was furious. And I'm like, well, that's not how you handle that situation. I was potentially sick. Like, I don't know why you're so mad right now. Not like potentially sick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> to me, as a kid, I had testicular cancer. It's like, if this is how you handle my cancer diagnosis, this is real rude of you, mama. That's real rude. I wasn't bad. I was just a handful. I think that's all it was. See, <laughs> I was so a handful. First you were eccentric. <laughs> then you were a handful. To me, that just means you were bad. Mm. See, that's nothing bad about reading. Yeah. I just had an emotional reaction to what I read. Yeah, but apparently you just keep having emotional reactions. That is me as a person. Like, even EMP and them bullied me because I once was walking in the snow. I got tired of walking in the snow and I just laid like face down in the snow and just stayed there Did until you... I felt better. Hmm? Or hypothermia? Which one came first? You felt better or hypothermia? I, I felt better. I had a big yellow puffer coat on, so I was warm. I was just I was just tired and I just gave up like mid walk. Just I was over it. That's, that's not how I, I'm very. I'm a mo I, my emotions just hit sometime and I just gotta I gotta let them run their course. I <laughs> it's not often anybody leaves me speechless, <laughs> but um Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> you know, we, you know we've had over, you know, thirty something interviews and nobody's <laughs> ever left me speeches. And we had somebody talk about their first time was with the couch. Um, and Not the couch. Did they get fibers on them? Like, I feel like that had to happen. Oh, uh, apparently not. Apparently it was a good old time. Um, I'd be scared of fibers. I can't do that. I'd have to run like a lint brush over first or something. I can't do it. <laughs> mm. you ha so you're preparing the couch because like can you imagine though if you get like a uti from like couch fibers that would be wild i no well i'm I mean, too scared that they, person brave <laughs> Qualisha. <laughs> like Qualisha, you didn't hear that you didn't hear that part <laughs> flock leader coming through with a big raid I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing your community. Um, yeah, I saw you were streaming earlier. I appreciate you always. We had Flock earlier in season one. So hey. I appreciate you. So today we have the beautiful and talented CBs with me tonight. Hey. Um, this will be the last Gamer Corner of the year. Because we're going into the holidays and I'm not stressing myself and others out trying to be like, well, mm -hmm. what works for you? Are you not traveling for the holidays and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, never mind. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll redo in January. 
I do not blame you. The coochie of Matt. The UTI from the fibers from the couch. That would be Yeah. Wild. That would be wild. Like yeah, I can't I can't risk it. That person had more bravery in they soul than I ever will. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So with that in mind, what is the funniest <laughs> moment that happened to you while streaming and content creation? Wow, because this is about as unhinged as the conversation we were having. So I be playing RPGs too, along with horror games, and I tend to make the I tend to make unhinged decisions in RPGs. I was playing Fallout New Vegas, and um, there's a part in the game where you meet this guy who runs a brothel, and he asks, hey, can you do some recruitment for me, put some feelers out, see if anybody want to work? I got some special requests. And I'm like, okay, one of the requests is for a robot. So some people are really into robots. I got a high science skill, so I find a robot, and I reprogram it to do routines. And the routine is apparently a code name, Fisto. And uh, after you program it, he asks you to assume the position. And my regulars were all like, don't you fucking dare. And I was like, I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm going to do it. And it's like the second before I clicked to assume the position, I got a big raid from a stranger. And they came in to see me get uh, bent over and faded to black. But they came in to watch me. Like, they're coming in and they're going, hey, what is going on? <laughs> As I assume the position, it fades to black. You hear a bunch of whirring and uh, gears spinning. And uh, it came back and my character was talking about how their legs were numb. And that was their introduction to my stream. And all my records like, that is what you get. Why would you do that? I'm glad they saw you do that. And I was like... That's a wild. It was, it was funny for everybody else, but I, I ain't gonna lie. In the moment, I was so embarrassed. I'm like, the, you know, it's like there's certain things you do in front of your community that they know you're gonna do. Yeah. But when like a stranger, this is their first time in your stream, and you see me getting fisted by a robot, is it's an impression. I I made an impression. I would do it again. You're right. I would do it again. <laughs> you would make the same Just, decision twice. Absolutely. I was just trying not to get raided that time. Because, <laughs> jeez. I can only, like, imagine. You're like, I'm going to click this. Oh, welcome in. Oh. The robot, the emperor, where does it end? It don't end, friend. Apparently, I'm going to do the bear next. The bear is next on the hit list. I don't even want to know. Oh, don't worry. You playing Baldur's Gate. You'll get there yeah, eventually. I, yeah, I know. I'm just going to go ahead and play it on my own. And <laughs> we'll see where that takes me. Because my motto at RPGs is like, I would just want to try something different. Like, I could smash a human, but why would I? I'm going to find the most unhinged thing I could put my body on, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it every time. So whenever you decide to release merch, it should be unhinged. That should be. It, it would be something unhinged. And like, <laughs> like you said, you have a shirt that just says unhinged. Like, I really that should. should be the name of your brand, your clothing, and it just says unhinged. Mm-hmm. I'll take 5%. Thank you. Got you. That or that phrase. I I hate that EMP says. I love that EMP says it so much that people think he came up with it. But he's making fun of me when he says like, "Have you ever insert whatever phrase he puts at the back before?" Because I say that all the time. I'll say, "Have you ever done X Y Z before?" Or "Have you ever been nervous before?" Have you ever worn a shirt before? I'll just say that randomly, and he does that so much that people <laughs> think he did it. Thank God. I'm so glad that he can't remind people enough that that is my thing. Because I don't need that attached to me. So you don't want it attached to you. Because then. Because now I feel like I need to call him out every time he does it. Be like. Um... He, he tell people every time. But they don't remember. And I'm glad they don't. Yeah. I definitely don't. It's like <laughs> it doesn't register. I want that to be attached to him. Because I don't want people to think he's saying that unhinged question. <laughs> 
Because he said he said that in somebody else's like streaming community. Like uh, he said, like, have y'all ever been depressed before? And like they was looking at him like, what? And he's like, oh, wrong community. This joke don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, my bad, my bad. <laughs> all right I was like, that's the tricky thing with inside jokes it's like we know what you're doing it's like we know you're making fun of me because i say stuff like that yeah. out of nowhere but to them they like you need help you there's a hotline for that <laughs> <laughs> so i know you just mentioned Baldur's gate uh like what else mm-hmm. are you currently playing i one, I'm I'm in mod and Baldur's Gate. I'm not gonna hold you. I found mods. I have outfits. I have hairs. I'm playing that like The Sims right now. I'm just making the prettiest characters and living my fantasy life. So that's been like my main focus. I want to get into Starfield. I don't like it. I keep trying, but I don't like it. Yeah, I and it's been hurting me so bad. I want to get back into just dance though for cardio because I like to focus on strength training, yeah. but I need to do cardio at some point. So I was like, I'm gonna make just dance my cardio. I played Beat Saber once though, and I actually really, really like Beat Saber. Yeah, it's no. actually really fun. Well, then we can play Beat Saber together. I gotta just steal my sister's VR because okay. she said it's in my room. Just take it, and I'm like, okay, but I'll be forgetting. Because yeah. it's so, I didn't realize it was going to be that much fun. She kept telling me, he's like, you like rhythm games. You're going to like it. I'm like, I don't know, bro. I, think I do. Like, Just Dance is my stuff. I used to love that game. That, yeah. And um, I always played the Dance Central on Xbox. Um, I want, I played it once and I liked it so much. It was so fun. Yeah. It was really so like fun. That. And um, the Zumba games, those are always fun. There's a Zuma game on the Switch. I have that. I'm gonna have to look because I I need to use my Switch more because I really I won a Switch in a giveaway and I was so happy and I'm like I'm gonna play all the games but then I did not play any of the games and I'm like I need to use a Switch because yep I want to get Mario Kart but I feel like people only play Mario Kart like once every six or seven months and it's like I don't want to drop sixty dollars on a game just to play it once every six or seven months. Yeah. Plus, you need um, the expansion to get all the other tracks, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, that's I'll a play lot. it more. I just won't necessarily stream it. I'll just be, I'll lay on my couch and play it with you. Yeah, I need to, I need to get it. And then it sucks because it was on sale once, and my sister, like, got a bunch of Mario games. She's like, yeah, the whole Mario franchise is on sale. I was like, why didn't you tell me? She's like, oh. My bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they don't, like, I c- they don't go on sale. Mm. <laughs> They don't go mm-hmm. clearance. This price is what's the price going to be 45 years from now. That's just what it is. No. It's so painful. See, we could. But y'all going to be dusting me. Y'all going to be dusting me. Because, like, I played Mario Kart once uh, on somebody else's Switch. And let me tell you, it's so different from when I used to play on my Super Nintendo I felt like an old person. Like I was like, why y'all got all these wheels on here? What do this do? What what does this glider do? Like, what is the difference? It was so bad. Yeah. It was terrible. But but if you practice, you will get better. True. So because my my Mario Kart strat used to be cheating. It used to just be like uh smack somebody control out their hand, but you can't do that online, so no. you know. No, you <laughs> I was I was thinking you were gonna say something else was your strat. Um, bearded. Oh no, I gotta I gotta. Um, sorry. Uh, sound alerts is down right now. Um, oh, yeah. I'll have to go back in and refund you all your points for that. I'm sorry. Yeah, and slash you always use a. You always do that? So, like, how many points do you have in my stream? Because that's 1,300. And every time you come in, you drop the 1,300. So, I'm now I'm wondering how many points. Dropping a combo move on you. Not sing to me. I didn't even know I had that. <laughs> what What is that? What? Oh, hold on. I want to read that. What's sing to me? You finna sing? You finna sing? You finna sing? I didn't even know that was You got to Wait, you got a song to... on your heart? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me get cozy. What? Go ahead. 
I didn't even know that was a thing. Hold on. It's it's a great thing. Oh, That's an amazing hold thing. Hold on. <laughs> Got you laughing. No, that's a good thing. That means if I ever do something, you'll have uh, points to get it. Fangirl will sing a random song on her heart. Okay, I had to. What song is on your heart today? All right. Let's <laughs> <talk to> me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I gotta think of a song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that that is a thing. Yeah, I didn't realize I put that there. Um, a couple different songs are coming to my head, but uh, let's go with... Oh, we're about to go into the holidays. Do you want a holiday song? I'm biased. I'm always for a holiday song, but I'm going to let them pick because that's their that's they points. Sing to me my muse. Okay. My I can't sing, but that's not going to stop me from singing a song that's on my heart. And this is for Bearded Baritone. Silent Night by the Temptations. Me, 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 me. Ready. <laughs> he vanished just for asking what? Okay. Silent mm -hmm. Night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yonder virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild. I you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't get mad. It was there. They, they just spinning their points. They just want to. They want a little sprinkle, sprinkle a little sum on you. That's I all. I totally forgot that I even had that in there. I, yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's a redeem. I wonder what inspired that to be added, but I'm here for it. I don't, I don't even know why. I was like, huh? Let me just add that in. So from now on. Uh, I would just leave that there. I'll just keep singing. You might just get other random songs. It's, but like, I think my problem is I don't know that many songs from heart, like Dang. a whole like verse. So it's either going to be gospel songs or Christmas songs, unless I look up a song and sing along to it. I feel that. Cause I only know like verses, unless they're like Disney songs. Like some Disney songs, I will go all the way through. Oh well, yeah, part entirely. of the world. I I know from mm. the end. <laughs> 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 and then there's other like random ones. I think there's some Marvin Gaye songs, but his don't actually. A lot of his songs don't actually have chorus. He just keeps singing. Like he actually, mm. singing, he just keeps going. Like, oh, I didn't even peep that. Now I gotta listen to one. <laughs> Where were we at? Now I gotta like look back at my questions. Uh, yes. Sweet. Are there any games coming out that you are excited about? Because I know we mentioned Silent Hill, and I'll be the first mm. time for you playing Silent Hill. Like what else? I also I didn't finish the first Hades, so it's a it's a little hypocritical. But Hades two looks so good. Like when I was looking at the uh, release stuff for it, when they announced it, I was like. I might have to get that. And there's also, it's a point and click game. I love point and click games. They are the love of my life. I love a good point and click. Yeah. There was one called Almost My Floor that I played forever ago. And there's another one coming out, Almost, Almost My Floor Duality. And I love it. It's like, it, it's like kind of a creepy horror too. It's not like jump scare heavy. It's just like unnerving, like monsters with eyeballs and wings, uh, plant monsters that eat people, like, Bleeding walls, devil imagery. It's nothing like pop out scary, but it's so good. It was I I, I'm like so excited. Those point and click games. I grew up playing point and They're click so games. They're so fun. I mean, I'm old 
So that's what we started with. Same. We didn't have anything. Yes. That's all we had before. Literally. Know, the new fangled console system. Other than that, it was just right. these like old school point and click games on the computer. Mm-hmm. That the graphics were point negative bits. Um, but we played it, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. I actually played uh, Monkey Island recently. I think like the first one, and I've never played. I played the newest one they let out, and I liked it so much. I was like, oh, I'm back playing all of them. And I went back and bought the first one, and I'm like, I'm going through all of these. They were so good. Oh, my God. See, I love that. Um, Mm -hmm. They're doing a sequel to Amanda the Adventurer. Amanda? (gasps) I want to play that. That game was really good, too. I really, really like that one. Cause I'm a person that goes around and like touches everything. And it's like that game rewards me for like just tenaciously staring at things and going, I feel like this means something. And it yeah. always does. Even if I don't piece it together. Yeah. Like, I think I only had to Google one ending. The rest of them, I just found out through just like looking and touching everything. I feel like these items have to be linked to something. Mm-hmm. I had to Google one part. Other than that, I got all the endings just like yeah. off the rip. It was good. Oh, yeah, so good. I did start crocheting a wooly because I was going to cosplay as Amanda. I'm going to cosplay as Amanda. Um, but I did start crocheting a wooly, but then Excited. I put it down, but I guess, but I messed up because I put it down. I don't think I wrote where I was at in the pattern. Oh, no. So, like, and it's like, you got to make all these, like, little, like, balls mm-hmm. for his fleece. And it's like, mm-hmm. I don't know where. So either I'm just going to wing it, which is a good chance that I might just wing it and be like, eh. Yeah, it might just be a little plumper on one side. Then I think I'm this row. We'll just go with it. Yeah, because I don't know if I want to start it because huh. it took me a while. To get no, it. I feel that so. if it's a big pat, if it's a big thing, I'm like I gotta have to guess because like I'm trying to learn how to crochet, so it's like I'll do some and then it's like if I don't write down where I was, I'm like, mm. yeah, it's all bad. Well, well, pray. <laughs> all is well no that's real that's real mm-hmm. um, so one thing that you guys don't know is that I believe it was you CBs who wanted to look mm-hmm. at all the streets of local areas in which we live in was that was that not you oh. <laughs> yes that was an amazing time. So, that was an amazing era. First, let's let's talk about Sea Beast. Always, um, what's the right word? We'll say that she tortures us with YouTube videos. And one would be <laughs> that the cooking mom and the son that actually eats the food. Which is a, a scariest, nightmarish thing. Shout and out to my one, auntie. No, no. <laughs> and another one, for a while there, it was like this guy, I guess, I'm assuming it's a guy, who rides around mm. in his car, like, just recording streets as he's riding around. And so first, obviously, he had to go to Detroit because AMP lives in Detroit and Detroit's so dangerous. And then I was in hanging out in the Discord, and CBs was like, "Oh, Jersey, Jersey's <laughs> dangerous too. Let's look up a video." <laughs> I mean, some of those videos you clearly saw either murder happen or a drug deal go down right in front of his car, which I think was absolutely wild. Um, especially when the people start walking up to his car, I'm like, "Bro, get out of there! Get out of there!" <laughs> It was very scary. So I'm always going to remember that. It was so funny, too, because, like, it was really an unprompted attack. Because, like, that girl really just came in hang out. I'm like, hey, you can design from Jersey. Let's see if they got the da- most dangerous streets in New Jersey. And I just looked it up. Just unprompted. Listen. And it just made us watch a video. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like... <laughs> there's definitely a lot of sections in Camden I would never step foot in. You go down the main road in Camden to get to the hospitals, and then you come back out. Now, one of the best cheesesteak places is in Camden, 
um, and a great mm. place to get your hair braided. So you get your hair braided, run and get a cheesesteak, and get out. Um, and that's really it. Oh, try not to cry because my glue ain't waterproof. But that 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 uh Camden video was hysterical. Like everybody looked like a level fourteen threat <laughs> from while shopping in good old Chicago. Listen, when I watched that video of like, cause Detroit was bad, Chicago was Chicago, Chicago was okay. Was bad. Stop. <laughs> Chicago was bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I can't be saying bad things about my city, you know, but I ain't gonna hold you. Some parts of Detroit had me like clutching my pearls. Like I was like, oh, <laughs> crossing the, is this side a... of the street. Like, you know what? Literally. Like there was literally a video where somebody got into a fight and they got mad at somebody and hit somebody with their car. I was like, oh, y'all be on that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Y'all different out there. Yeah, vehicular manslaughter. Mm. They real different. You know. <laughs> so, I know we just, I love going off the rails, but what are your thoughts on, like, the current gaming industry? And, like, where do you see it going? Especially as a person who's um, into hard RPGs. As weird as it is, I've noticed they've been doing a lot of remakes and things like that, and I think it's, like, because I feel like the way that we consume games in general is always going to change. Well, the way the games are set up and like uh, made and stuff are always going to change depending on the way we consume them. Because at the end of the day, they want to make money. Like, you remember when we were kids, like, you played games at the arcade. So they made games really difficult with increasing difficulty because they wanted you to keep putting coins in that machine. Then when they got, like, consoles, like, at home... They made the games difficult because you had to because if your games were really hard and if you rented the game, you're going to have to either keep renting this game over and over. Or you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. And now it's like that everybody kind of games in their home. Their whole deal is like uh, DLC uh, battle passes, this and that, because they're like, you're not you're going to buy this game one time. Uh, we can't find a way to milk more money out of you. You know, et cetera. It's like piracy is a thing. So it's like they're going to try and keep finding ways to make money with it. And it's, I get it, but it's also like it sucks because I feel like the focus is more on different ways to get money out of it rather than like having decent games. Like, no offense to Starfield. Like, again, I'm trying to get into it. If you like Starfield, that's cool. I feel like people who like Starfield, the same people that like Skyrim. Wasn't nothing wrong with Skyrim. It just took a minute for me to get into it. But mm -hmm. I feel like Starfield was like, it was boring. And they like they were selling all these super packs of a boring game. Or even with Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat let out like a half roster. Like a little pinch of a roster. And they're like, oh, but if you pay extra, you can get these characters. And you know later on down the line, they're going to make more DLC with more characters. Like all the characters that are missing from the roster. And you're just going to basically be paying for Mortal Kombat for the next I don't know how long. And that where there's no focus on like just making like a finished game and that that bothers me like high key I'm not gonna lie yeah no that's true because we, we don't get that anymore except for like mm -hmm. maybe some like nintendo games okay yeah MB coming through doing your mod duties i see you elijah thank you so much i appreciate your thoughts and comments 10 years running final fantasy 14 oh yeah now we finally have uh, uh, uh well, an announcement of GTA 6 <laughs> right and it's like how long has it been since the last one yeah. that's nutty and don't they just keep like re-releasing it on different stuff for I don't know how long like I think I got that game free I don't know how long ago but I never played it yeah and then you have um... we still have uh, Sims 5 yet Right? They haven't announced anything? No. no, they just keep announcing, like, expansions and stuff. Yeah, because the next one's, like, the renter's apartments and stuff. It'd be a slumlord. <laughs> That's so immersive. I couldn't get into Sims uh, 4, because I remember I had it on my... I had a Wii, and I got Sims 4 on the Wii, uh -oh. and... Uh, they had by then I didn't realize they had introduced like aging and they're like, oh, fulfill all your life goals before you die. I'm like, oh, that's not going to help with my escapism at all. I just want to stay 20 forever. This is not going to be relaxing at all. Yeah. 
I, this is the same stress I have in real life. And I turned it off. I had never played it again. You know, that's real. Because you don't want the same stress as in real life. You want to escape. Um, that's why when mm-hmm. everybody um, and all my friends were like, oh, did you see the latest episode of Insecure? And I was like, no, that's my life. Why would I watch that? That's me. <laughs> uh, a black educated black woman finding love, juggling a career, friends and family. Um, that's me every day. Why, why do I need to watch that? Right. It's like, thank you for letting me relive this issue. Yeah, no, like, I don't, no. I don't need to relive those problems. <laughs> <laughs> Your man cheated on you? No, I don't. Why would I need to relive any of those? Right. It's like, thanks. I really want to go through that again in media form. Yeah. Totally. No, I, w- I want to watch the person who's flying around and blowing stuff up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, I cannot watch the sad stuff. It's like, no, life is sad enough. Let me. Let me play Baldur's Gate and like Let me have shape tail. shift into a cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want a tail and ears and horns with a cape. <laughs> I literally modded my game. I have deer antlers on right now and a dress made of leaves. Like I just living my best druid yeah. life, turning into a cat. Very, like druid dyad, <laughs> like naya. That's all li- of them. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm just living in nature, you know. I'm a nature girly right now. I don't, I'm not worried about bills. What bills? I live in the trees, you know. I support that. I support that. Mm-hmm. Like that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh my god. Now it's time for the heavy hitting hard game. Hard question. Excuse me. What mm-hmm. is? Your favorite game of all time. It could be a tabletop. It could be a card game. It does not have to be a console game or a PC game. But if that's what you choose, okay. If you're having problems picking just one, you can pick three or five. Jade Empire, no question. Oh. None. Wow. It was one of, it was like my first like RPG that really got me into RPGs. And I'll admit, like it's on Game Pass. If anybody want to try it and you have Xbox Game Pass, it's free. But uh, it didn't age well. I'll give it that. The combat is clunky, but that game holds such a special place in my heart. Like I, I did not realize how cool. Like that's what really got me into RPGs. I didn't realize how cool like the escapism of RPGs can be. You can create this person. You can shape the world around you with your decisions. Mm-hmm. And that's just been really inspiring to me as a person in general. And. It was an amazing game. It was an eye opener for young me. The plot twists and turns, like, it's not an RPG a lot of people have played because you know it wasn't super popular. But it's one that I just hold very dear to my heart. No, I remember like seeing it. I never actually played it, but I remember seeing the name of it. I loved it. It was a ten out of ten for me. I've been making EMP play it, and he loves it. That 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 just validates it for me. He's like, "Yeah, I actually had fun with Jaden." I'm like, "Keep playing," but you know, he's got other games. <laughs> Nine, welcome in. I appreciate you. Happy birthday! Did your birthday already pass? Um, Happy birthday! I hope you did not do anything oh, Scorpio. inappropriate. I saw the video of you dancing <laughs> with the girls that were half naked. Um, <laughs> not the call out. Because like I, I opened my Instagram, and that's what I saw. I was like, oh, okay. The, the bottle girls. So. Not the um. Mm. That um is telling. Here we go. That's not my fault. I, I'm not going to say nothing. But okay, nine. Um, let's see. I'm going to say, <laughs> like, Dead by Daylight, 80% of the community is so hardcore. And can be a bit toxic. Yes, because if you watched, my mom plays Dead by Daylight, and my aunt, and my uncle, <gasps> and my cousin, and that they run a little the squad together, love. and they're very toxic to each oh, other. Oh, wow. That's and funny. They always yell at me because I don't bring in anything in. I don't bring in a toolbox. I just go in as me. I say, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus, and I'll be okay. And then they yell at me. That is me as hell. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not going to bring in anything. I'm just going to go 
That is me. The only difference is I will buy a fit. I don't play Dead by Daylight. Like I'll boot it up once every three months, go in the store, buy a fit, wear the fit, and be the first one dead and be like, <laughs> but I looked cute though on the hook, didn't I? Right? That's all that matters. That's mm -hmm. all that matters. You look cute. Though. That and Overwatch. I, I ain't good at Overwatch, but I bet you I'll be the cutest one on the field. Ain't no wrong. My skins, my skins are nice. Yeah, I need to get... Cause I'm starting to play Rogue Company, so I want to get, like, better skins. <gasps> I tried that. I got beat up so bad, I, I uninstalled the game. Yeah, it can be... <laughs> they duped me up. It was so bad. It can be vicious. It can be vicious. But you get better the more you play. Yeah, I was getting stomped out. It was so bad. Like, I, I'm i still trying to figure out buttons and people jumping on me, coming around. They got us stuck in spawn. I'm like... This is, yeah. It was so bad. It taught me to love crafting and appreciate the slow progression. That's awesome, Elijah. I, I can't. I'm impatient. I'm, I'm on it now. I'll be like... That's why I can't play a... Uh, I can't play games like Minecraft and stuff because it's like, I'm not going to build up my stuff. I'm going to just steal it from my friend. I'm going to just go in their house and take their stuff. They no. got it. Oh, uh, yeah. It was bad. Back when they had uh, free servers, um, we had a server and I I would always lose my houses. So I would live in dirt caves and just collect stuff. <laughs> and then I would just find one of my friend's houses and I would just go in there, take some of their food and leave. And it got to the point where they made anti CBs traps to stop me from getting in their houses. Like they reinforced their walls. Uh, one of my friends made it so that way he had a lever to open his door. Or so I thought he had another way in the house. So I opened the door, I hit the lever, and it dropped me into a pit of obsidian. And then he poured lava over my head. And he's like, <laughs> Stop coming in my house. And I'm like, <laughs> Why are you it, doing that? In his defense, he was a little mad because I, I was just telling this story too. Um, I would take his food the most because he was so organized. Like he had a farm. He had like a growing room, all type of stuff. And he got mad I was taking his food. So I made him a cake. And he went, "What? where did you get the stuff to make this cake? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> He's like, did you use my resources to make me a cake? And I'm like, well, you're asking a lot of questions here. And he was so mad. And after that is when he built that trap and poured lava on my head. Because he'd had enough of me at that point. I mean... I didn't know how the TP worked, Elijah. I didn't know. You sound... I TP'd him to the middle of the ocean one time on accident. And he never let it go. But I didn't know. So the more that we go through this interview... I realize that mm -hmm. I often defend you against EMP. <laughs> I always do. I always do. But now, now I'm questioning some things. I, I don't you know, know what? Anymore. That's, I might need to be on that's, the EMP side sometimes. That's the general progression. It's like, people be like, why are you so mean to CBs all the time? And then they realize over time, you're mean for a reason. Oh, my God. Like, he was talking about, like, I do this every day. Every day, I'll send him, like, some harassing message, like, early in the morning. And um, every week, I'll find a random item in the grocery store, and I'll send it to him. This week, I sent him a reindeer necklace and said, you want a chain EMP? And he's like, oh, my God, leave me alone. <laughs> it was it was cute though. It had like a little um it had little bells on the feet and stuff. So if you ran him with sh it was it was nice. It was a stylish little necklace. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I, I'm going to start questioning it, Elijah. I I uh Yeah. Poor poor EMP. Listen, I I just like to think that's the thing too. It's like it's it's I'm the chaotic one, but I get away with it because it's like I'm so sweet to the people I'm not being a monster to. They be like, "What did she do to you that makes you that bad?" Let's be real. It's like I'm so nice to Lavendula, but to EMP, it's a whole different scenario. I do not come at Dula the way I do at EMP. I come with Dula with just genuine conversation and friendship. And at EMP, I'll be like, "EMP, make my dinner before I get hungry." <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god." <laughs> Oh, oh, the chaos. The chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, he loves it though, secretly. It's like this much. Does he? I'd like to pretend so. <laughs> okay, so the the deep thought provoking question: What would you say mm -hmm. to someone who who is first starting out their streaming and content creation journey? Oh, you can't be afraid of the criticism, unfortunately. Mm. Like, because no matter what you do, how well you do it, how nice you try to be, whose toes you avoid stepping on, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen a lot because somebody's going to have a problem with everything you do. So it's like if you're scared to, like, go live because somebody might say this, might say this, it's like, unfortunately, they are. They are, and there's there's nothing you can do about it. So you can't let that be a factor in stopping you from doing anything you need to do. It's, it's, and it's, the thing that sucks about it too is it's always somebody who, you will get the worst comments from people who aren't putting themselves out there, who aren't even attempting to do what you're trying to do, who couldn't even fathom doing it. They will be, who could never achieve anything you're, you've already achieved, not even things you're trying to achieve. They can't achieve stuff you've already done will be your worst critics. And you just have to realize that's going to happen and, you know, take precautions, but don't let it dishearten you because yeah. it's, it's going to happen. It's unavoidable. Yeah, that's real. Mm hmm it's painful, too, because it's like you think like I'd like to say I go out of my way not to like do anything wild. But like I will get some of the most pain, especially on YouTube. YouTube is the worst. I will get some of the most Let's talk about heinous, Let's evil comments Let's on YouTube. Talk about it. Oh, my, oh God. my God. She's so it's grown. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so bad. Like the cop like. TikTok, I've noticed there's a difference in my demographic too. It's like TikTok, my demographic is like, I think it's like 60% women on my TikTok. And my TikTok is okay. Like I still get some heinous comments there, but nowhere near as bad. But my YouTube, I think is like 90 something percent dudes. And they are so critical of like the tiniest thing. I make a joke. It's cringy. Um, I'm trying to get guys' attention. Like... Uh, the racial comments, uh, basically, like talking about me potentially being sexually promiscuous. You know where that comment is going. Um, just sexually harassing comments. Like YouTube is a cesspool. It really like, is. It's. I don't know Thank what it is about YouTube. Yeah, I don't know what it is about YouTube. My sister said, "Uh, it's because the way YouTube's algorithm is." She said, TikTok and stuff, they send you stuff that you think you'll like. YouTube just sends it to anyone to, like, just do a test run. And so you're more likely to run into people that are just going to say feral stuff to you. Mm. And, like, I like to respond to all my comments. I like to, like, like, on socials, I like to let people know, like, hey, I see you. I appreciate you. I hear you. But it's, like, I've had to turn off comment notifications for, like, all my socials. They don't come to my phone. I have to go out actively on the app to see them and even then with youtube i'm kind of like <laughs> hey if you catch me you catch me otherwise i i can't i can't filter through them because sometimes it's just a lot yeah they're they're so disgusting because like mm -hmm. um like my tiktok i think i think it's primarily women uh, i have to look back at the um analytics mm -hmm. but like they're all so like you know, keep going, we're rooting for you, like, in all my mix, in my workout, because, hello, working out. The YouTube mm -hmm. people on the commenting <laughs> on the same exact workout video? <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm not even give, I just, I delete them. I'm not going to give you no energy. That's delete, same. Delete. Same. Delete. <laughs> yes, really I bad. tell people to... Then I report, but mm -hmm. other than that, it's just... I think somebody, yeah, I do the same thing. Somebody mm -hmm. was a real jerk and like reported all my videos. So like my YouTube that was taken wow. down for like a couple of days, I had to like appeal it. I was like, I'm literally working out and being inspirational. That's all. Like there's nothing on my like there's nothing on my YouTube. Um, 
So it was very nerve wracking since the YouTube was around for like almost mm. ten years before, and then I I was able to get it back. But I was like, yeah, YouTube. I'm so glad you said that too, because it'll be the same video, same exact video, no changes. But it's like the reaction between YouTube and everywhere else is so like. What are y'all on over here? What's going on in this space? Like, did nobody get hugs? I don't understand. I do that same thing. I'll delete people. I'll block people. It's like, because, like, I've seen people make comments about, like, yeah, people be loving you. And they be talking about how funny you are in the comments. I'm like, that's because that's all you're allowed to see. <laughs> I'm blocking everyone else. <laughs> it's like, I like to think of my spaces as my house. This is my space. You don't get to come in my space and make me uncomfortable. True. Or even, like, tw Twitter does that to me too, actually. Now I think about it. YouTube and Twitter. I do not post uh, clips on Twitter anymore because I don't like people making sexual comments about my body. And that happens the most on Twitter. Like, I remember I posted a clip of me talking about how I, like, sacrifice my friends in horror games. Like, I'll run the monster right past you if it means I'll get to safety. And, you know, there were people commenting, like, oh, oh you're an asshole. And it's like, you know, that makes sense according to the context and stuff. But I have a couple dudes going like, uh, oh, big titty girls are so annoying. And it's like, damn, you you like shaped up like this. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah, let's Ooh, they need something. Pepperman. He actually does make really good cookies, too. Oh, yeah. He be baking for real. Yeah, huh? no, they definitely. And, you know, because then they'll be, um, like BBW porn accounts that'll like follow you. Like after you post something, mm -hmm. like yes. I'm, I'm not following like, you back, and I'm not engaging with you. I'm not. We're not. I'm not commenting. I'm not liking your comment. I'm gonna scroll over you and comment on other people. Mm hmm. They do that a lot. They do. So like between Twitter and, and that's the thing, I like YouTube. Like I started off on YouTube back when I did art stuff. It's like YouTube is my baby. I would love to that's what I'm trying to get back into doing stuff on YouTube again. It was fun, but it's like the comments sometimes are like <laughs> And it's like it's like oh you know like I recently found out they weren't showing me a bunch of comments and I went through them and I'm like there's a reason y'all weren't showing me these. Good looking out, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, I haven't even looked at those comments. So Don't long. do it. Don't look at the hidden ones. Yeah, Don't do it. I haven't even looked at the... Okay, what the... Mm -mm. As per CBs, do not Thank look on. at your hidden comments on YouTube. You do not need that in nah. your life. Don't do it. There's a rare... There's a rare chance they flag something that wasn't bad, but I promise you it's rare. I promise you it's rare. Mm -mm -mm. So, besides being harassed by jerks, uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on the content creation streaming space as a whole? Um, I remember I was watching uh I was watching Cup of Noodle and Story Mill Bay talk about it. And there was one thing that they touched on that I really feel like a lot I they were saying like they wish it was like healthier. Mm -hmm. And I do too, because I see so many people like burn themselves out on it. Like because I feel like, you know, the way that people like grow in content creation spaces is changed over the years. Like, uh, do you remember when like Ninja gave that advice about how to grow as a streamer and stuff? And everybody was like, oh, wow, this is so out of touch because, you know, it's like that's not what works these days. Yeah. And I've noticed something that like a lot of people do now. It's just like the grind. That's what's really like people are like, yeah, I upload three TikToks a day to multiple platforms. I do uh, these subathons, 24 hours. I do this, this, this. And it's like, it's so much work. It's like, I wish there was like a healthier balance for it where people didn't feel like the only way to like get their shot is to just like, like, yes, you should put everything into what you do, but it's like burnout is real. Your mental health is important. Your physical health is important. And it's like, you're putting all of your effort into this. And then by the time you like, get out of that it's you're burnt out you don't even want to do it anymore i wish that the consecration space focused on like 
healthy ways to push things instead of like if you really want this this is the grind you have to do because it's like can you imagine how much editing you would have to do to like not like not having an editor just on your own mm -hmm. to upload three tiktoks a day and do that on multiple platforms it's like you would have to be clipping and editing and just like constantly regurgitating concepts like when do you have the time to like stop plan things relax do stuff that's every day like and so i've seen so many people give that advice like oh yeah i upload three times a day that's how i grew my stuff it's it's not and i see so many people do like subathons and donathons that go on for like days and days and days and it's like that's cool you know if you know you're getting your bag but it's like when do you get the time to decompress and like i've spent so much money on my setup recently not even on just buying fancy upgrades but ergonomics because i'm in my chair so much it was hurting my body. Mm -hmm. I had to get like an office chair. I have a lumbar pillow. I have a pillow under my butt. I had to get different um, screen adjusters so that way I'm not tilting my head any type of way when I'm right here. Like, it's just, it's bad for you. And I wish there wasn't so much of an emphasis on just like, no, you got to just grind it out, grind it out, work as hard as you can. Like, it, that bothers me a lot. No, no, that's, thank you for pointing that out like it's true it isn't the healthiest thing to be doing all that grind and still have a healthy like life like a social life mm -hmm. um you know your physical body like you said like your your body is going to get broken down if you do all that and that's just mm -hmm. physically body not your mental health doing that mm -hmm. you, you can think about it. you grind for like two weeks hard like that and you don't see anything you don't see numbers and they said yes. oh no you're not gonna see numbers until like maybe the fourth week maybe what yeah and that's one of the things like as messed up as it sounds because i know how it sounds when i tell people this because it's like when i hit like 10k on tiktok people were like oh my god you made it on tiktok how did you do it and i was like I was just uploading like I think it was like I was like I uploaded the first TikTok I had that like got big was I uploaded a new game the same day it came out. Everybody was like, oh, my God, is it out? And pe other people were like I up I've uploaded a new game on the same day it came out. Nothing came from that. And it's like, well, a big part of it is luck. And one thing I've learned is like hard work does not equal reward. Like there have been TikToks I've put blood, sweat and tears into and be like, this one's going to pop off because I worked so hard on it and it got no traction. Whereas one I just like tossed up just so I could have some for the week. It just gets hell of views. It's like, so if you're constantly going, if I just work harder, I'll get better. And you do all this work and get nothing. You're going to feel that. You're going to feel that like lack of worth. Like, wow, what am I not doing that this person's doing? I'm working so hard. And it's like, that's what that grind man said. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It just burns you out and sets you up for failure. No, it's real. Sometimes it is just luck, you know? Mm-hmm. And then now you have to capitalize off that luck, but it is... Exactly. It is luck sometimes. Yeah, yeah it's just like, especially with socials, it's toss-up of the algorithm. I never know what's going to pop. And then I just got to like, okay, with this momentum going, now I got to run with it. I got to get them to my uh, other platforms. I got to get them to click here, click here, click there, they're there. But it's like, I got to run with it. But it's like that initial thing was luck. And a lot of it is luck. And I say all the time, like with no shame, I'm a vouch baby. I had, I was blessed to have like a lot of big streamers that I hung out in their communities. They recognized my name because I was a, I was a community member long before I streamed. Like we're talking like years. Mm -hmm. So they recognized me when I started streaming, they checked me out because they recognized me from hanging out. And then they went, oh, my God, wait, you're actually funny. And they would shout me out to other people. Like, <laughs> you know, so it's like that's also part of it, too. It wasn't like me just like magically starting out and just people just like messed with me. It's like, no, pe bigger streamers knew me. And they like even when I was like pushing for the 10K when I got close, like people would shout me out. Bigger streamers saw me post that and they would shout me out to their communities and they followed me. And it's like. It was luck and vouch. It's like, yeah. there was no grind there, you know? So people pushing that really just, like, irks me, hockey. Yeah. And, like, you were just genuinely just a community member showing love. And mm -hmm. then they turned around and showed you love. Nisha, yeah. Oh, hi, Dayote. I appreciate you. Facts. Yes. Nine as well. I agree. 
Listen, she needs to drop in knowledge, you know. She might be mean to EMP, but she drops knowledge. So I'm serious, like, this much sometimes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we're coming to the end of the interview. Any additional thoughts or comments? Um, even, like, not outside streaming space, I would say, like, you know, we hitting the holiday season. It's getting dark early. Seasonal depression is a thing. I say just check in with yourself over time. This is a very rough season for a lot of people, mentally, emotionally. Mm -hmm. So just in this time, like, if you notice that something's off with you, check in with yourself. Take a break when you need to. Yeah. Um, do something that brings you joy. Like, I know there's a lot of things expected of you maybe during this time, but always make the time for you. Make the time for that self-care to watch that movie, to catch up with that anime, to text that friend. Like, please take care of yourself during this season. That's real. That's all. Yeah. No, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for reminding all of us to make sure we take time to check in with ourselves and take time for ourselves. Really important. Mm -hmm. Very important. It is. So do you have anything interesting or cool that you want to pimp out that you have coming up? I am trying to get back into YouTube. I have been uploading on YouTube and I have a thing where I said if I hit 500, well, not if, when, Lord, because, Lord, when. all right, when I hit 500, I'm going to play Dead Space. Dead Space is a game I have avoided for a while because I love horror games. I don't like horror games where they give me a gun. Why? Because when they give you a gun, the jump scares get really random because they like, you could defend yourself. We don't have to telegraph this scare. <laughs> so any game where they like. Horror games are low key predictable. You could tell when something about to pop off, but when they give you a gun, all of that is gone. It's like every vent is a problem. So I said, when I hit 500, I'm going to play Dead Space and I'm going to put the whole thing on there. And it's like, so that's something we're going to do. But we mostly what we do on there is we play uh, those short little itch.io games, those like little 10, 15 minute ones, because they're, they're a little too short for stream, but I love those. Mm -hmm. I recently. I, I should have saved it for YouTube. Like, I recently played one where I was running from Ronald McDonald in a forest. And then when I got away in my cop car, he was twerking in the middle of the street. It was a real adventure. What? That's... Listen. What? What? Go to, listen, go to itch.io, go to their horror section, get you a free horror game. That's... You're going to have a time. Wild. Dayo, do you just played the, uh, I guess, the remake of Dead Space? Did, did you? Was it bad? Am I gonna am I gonna get beat up? Be you could be okay. honest. You Is this scary? You'll be fine. You're strong. You're you're good. Whenever they give me whenever they give me a gun, I panic. I don't know what's coming at me. You'll you'll be fine. Mm -mm. Um, Ain't you not supposed to shoot them in the head too? You supposed to go for the legs or something? That's terrifying. Oh, uh, to take them out? What? Yeah. What? I th That's wild. They got some Yeah. I'm like, what? No. Mm -mm. So <laughs> Where can people find you? Are you CBs across all platforms? I am. The only the only place I'm not CBs is Instagram. I'm CBs TTV on Instagram because somebody stole my name. But everywhere else, straight CBs. You can find me uh, right away. Why would somebody steal your name? I don't know. You know, I, it is a person review. with a family. That was wild. I was like, how do you take Fangirl Review? That's why I had to be Fangirl Review LLC. Because <gasps> somebody took Fangirl Review. That's... That don't even make... Why would they do that? I don't know. But I was like, well, whatever. I'm Professor White. <laughs> I'll stay Professor White. I don't care. All right, all right. It's like, well... <laughs> I am who I am. Um, okay, so as always here on Gamer Corner, the guest guides the raid. So where are you taking us? All right, let's see. Ooh. No I want to see... because. They gave me a notification that one of my friends went live that I enjoy bullying. And I would love to ruin his day by saying, hey, guess who is getting bullied right now? Oh, and he is live playing Spider-Man 2. Uh, it's my friend Foot Dive. Uh, should I type his name in the chat so you can see how it's spelled? Um, I believe our type following. Hmm? I said our type following. I think so. He might have, he'd be deleting and remaking his accounts. So do you follow his foot underscore dive one? Because he used to be foot dive one word. I, but then he deleted it and did this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow this one. 
I follow okay. the other one. Um, Cause it's like he used to be foot dive, but now he's foot uh, dive. Yeah, yeah. I don't follow this one. Okay, <laughs> that's why I was like, no, I follow I don't, him. And I was asking, was the game gonna be bad? Am I gonna be scared? Is it scary? Am I gonna cry? <laughs> no, Deodi, I completely <laughs> understand. So everybody, nah, I understand. Run. <laughs> please follow our amazing content creator CVs. Absolutely adorable. Um, she is unhinged, so be prepared for <laughs> when you walk into a stream, the topic might be wild. Um, <laughs> it will. It will. So, yeah. But I want to say thank you so much for um, being here, closing out the year Hi. with me. I appreciate you. You didn't have to do it, but you decided to come on Game Recorder. I appreciate that. So thank you. Absolutely. It was good. So we are going to check out Foot, who is playing... Spider-Man 2 so I understand you guys say hi real quick and if you need to run because you don't want to be spoiled I totally understand I no judgment. He's, no judgment he's towards the end so definitely like hi bye run yeah say hi came with the raid for CBs close your eyes click out totally understand mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you Durag <laughs> I appreciate you alright everybody um, until we meet again I'll be back probably sometime this week um, maybe on the BIPOC channel I don't know stay tuned to the socials because you never know because otherwise I might just lay on my couch and not do anything <laughs> That's true. Um, I don't okay. even blame you until we meet again bye that was nice raid out raid out to make sure we actually go did the raid go